What's going on everybody? This is Dr. Rosie with Physio Trader and I want to talk about my, uh, my setup a little bit. So as you can see here, I am running a, uh, an iMac, um, you know, Apple Mac, but I am actually running uh, Windows uh, 10 and that is because I'm using Boot Camp. Um, with my, my current setup, this is a 2017, 27 inch, and then I have a, a secondary display. See the microphone up there. And uh, I don't know if you can see this, but I do have my laptop that I use for work, not when I'm messing with trading. But what I have right now is I have the Fusion Drive. And for those of you who don't know, with Apple, their Fusion Drive, it's, it's primarily a hard drive, which means it has those moving parts, those disks. Uh, and then the Fusion Drive allocates like 20 gigs or something, really small amount as a, like a, a modified solid slate. And what I'm having is, Going over to the Windows side, I actually don't have any problems. But when I'm done trading, when I'm done trading for the day, I don't want to have a very expensive Mac, a beautiful Mac that runs very well, but then I can't switch back to the Apple OS, the Mac OS, and, um, and run. It, actually, to get out of Windows and to get back into the Apple's uh, native operating system, which I believe right now is Big Sur, it takes like 20 minutes to load, whereas I have the exact same setup. I have Boot Camp on my laptop. This is a solid slate drive. And this thing, I can switch between Windows version versus Apple, you know, really the benefit of having two computers at once, two computers at once. When I travel, I use this laptop and it works great uh, for both business and when I do a little bit of trading in the morning. Um, I really want to prevent from having to buy a, a tower or prevent from buying a, a station. If I do end up having to get a Windows laptop, it'll just be a laptop and it'll serve as both, but I really don't want to do that. So instead, been scouring the internet and one of the things that I can do to really just save up my beat, my load uh, boot time would be to transition and add a, um, a portable SSD, a solid slate drive. Now I could go ahead and take the, the screen off and, and deal with all that, but then you run the risk of, of ruining the screen. And so you know what, uh, doing a little bit of review, I'm willing to take the risk on uh, getting this uh, portable SSD uh, extreme. It's just one terabyte, so I, I do actually need more space but I wanted to give it a try. If, if it does work, then I end up getting like a four or eight terabyte because of all my other work, uh, some of the courses that I'm creating for my work, for my medical practice. But with that being said, um, I wanna do it. I wanna load actually Mac OS on the external drive as it being an SSD and hope that it really does speed up my time. That way I can transition from Windows and Mac OS in, a, in less than a minute like I do with this one. This guy, even though it'll switch, it takes a good 20 minutes before the system will actually load and let me do stuff. So uh, with that being said, I'm gonna open this up and give it a try. Okay, so I'm gonna actually open this bad boy up and let's see what it, uh, what's, uh, it's got the offer, so using just a good old pair of trusty keys. Hopefully it didn't wreck that too much. Uh, so again, this is a one terabyte SSD, uh, NVMe, which is the faster version. Um, and let's see, I think it's got a 1050 uh, speed count. So I have absolutely no idea what this thing looks like, but it seems to be quite small. Oh wow, that is really small. Um, Here's like a standard mouse to give you a kind of a reference point. Not very big at all. That is. Feels nice. Feels really nice. Very thin, very lightweight. I might have to get a couple more of these. Hopefully it works out. I might have to get a couple more of these and just use these for all my, my storage for the, the continuing education course I'm in the process of creating. And then here we go. We have a USB-C, um, I think sometimes they call it a Thunderbolt, a Thunderbolt 3 connection. Well, that's a small cable. We're gonna find something to do with this. Um, so this right here, not a big cable. As you can see, it goes in there. Uh, and this cable here, this is gonna hang out in the back of my Mac. So uh, let's put it in. We're gonna boot the drive. We're gonna take off Windows and uh, pull Mac OS back up. All right, so I plugged the uh... I plug the Mac or the uh, external SSD in here. And at this point, I am going to restart my Windows um, iMac so I can uh, get this uh, thing running. Now, once this thing does restart, once it goes black, I'm gonna hit Command R to enter into recovery mode and to see if I can uh, format this external drive the way I need so that I can begin. So Command R. Never really done one of these videos before. Let's see how it turns out. So holding Command R. 
see what runs up. Knowing me, I just bricked my whole machine. Loading bar comes up. Let go. And I will turn this back on. Okay, so I entered into uh, recovery mode. Now from here, you can see restore from time machine. I do have a time machine. I don't want to do that. Uh, reinstall Mac OS, Safari, or disk utility. Um, so we, we actually need to go to, we're going to eventually uh, reinstall, but we need to go over down here to disk utility first to format that external drive. So here, click continue. Now I have my internal drive. Uh, my Fusion Drive Bootcamp, which is running my Windows, and now I have my Xtreme external SSD. And so I have to click this guy. So you can see the terabyte, it's an XFAT. And now what we're gonna need to do is we are going to need to format that. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna actually, to format, we're gonna click Erase. From Erase, the format we are gonna make is going to be APFS, and that is what, uh, it used to be Mac OS Journal, but I believe you actually need to use APFS for Big Sur. Okay, APFS format, I'm gonna click Erase. It is erasing, it shouldn't take very long at all. It says Erase has failed. Um, let's try that again. So it made it Mac OS extended. Let's try that one more time. Okay, so here we do, we have it uh, external SSD APFS. And so from there, we are going to quit, command Q or you can hit the X and then we are actually going to now click the reinstall Big Sur, which is the current uh, operating system. Um, so here we're gonna click continue. This is the important part. We are gonna click continue because we do wanna reinstall it. Now eventually it's gonna ask us where we want to install that. Agree. Now this is where do not mess up. If you click your old one, you are gonna re, uh, you're gonna take over your, so right here, this external SSD, that is where I wanna install the Mac OS, external SSD, click continue. It says this will take two hours and 20 minutes remaining. Um, I'm just gonna pause, there's certainly no reason to have this video that long, and I will get back to you. All right, everybody, so we are here. It is loaded. It uh, Originally, the screen said it was gonna take two hours and 20 minutes. Uh, right after I turned the camera off, it dropped down to 50, and uh, it probably took around uh, 26 minutes in all, so now I'm just gonna set this bad boy up. Um, continue. Uh, nope. Let's put this on. So from here, We are going to click not now, and then we're just gonna set this guy up as normal.
Now from here, we are just going to go through our prompts. Waiting for a verification code. And get this guy all set up. Whoops. Now, while we're here, <clears throat> I should say that earlier, a couple screens ago, I had the ability to migrate everything from my old drive to my new one. Um, I can do that later. So right now, I just want to make sure that the uh, operating system is up and going as expected. So I can customize all my settings and everything later. Um, so now I'm just trying to go through it. Um, Just setting up my system now at this point, choosing my themes, light, dark. I've done both. And there we go. We are uh, up and at it. The keyboard is open. And here you go. We've got ourselves a system right here. So coming over here about this Mac. Um, let me see if I can kind of zoom in on this. Um, 2017 3.4 gigahertz quad core. Uh, 64 came with eight gig. I updated the Ram. So I updated that. And then, uh, I'm running off my startup disc is external SSD. So I'm not running the native uh, hard drive. And then I've got my graphics card, so on and so forth display storage. So you can see my storage, my boot camp storage, and now my open uninterrupted, uh, channel right there. So uh, identify, press, press the key immediately to what? to the right of the shift key on the left side. To the right of the shift key on the left side. Press the key only once and do not hold down the key for a long time when the key is recognized, the key panel will appear. Identifying keyboard. Press the key immediately to the right of the shift key on the left side of the keyboard that can't be identified. Okay, and there you have it. That is it. It looks like it is all set to go. Um, that's it. That is all All she wrote. Uh, don't need anything else in here. And uh, so, you know, as you can see over here, uh, opening up the panel, I don't have anything on this computer, so you're not going to find anything except the applications that kind of come on natively. Um, but you can see my other locations, my hard drive with everything in there, uh, the boot camp, which runs Windows, the wind, um, everything from there. So there you have it. I am all done. Um, looks like it worked. That was a success. If you have any questions, reach out in the comment section. Um, thank you so much for watching.
Okay, so I clicked restart on my computer and I can tell you right now it already uploaded to the last one, the one I just created. And uh, so let me kind of show you how I know that. First off, it's my background. My background is different. We are up and at it. It is loaded. Um, here is what you're gonna do. So go down here into the settings. Um, go down to startup disk. And from startup disk, you're gonna choose which system you want to use. I have my external selected as the startup and not the traditional uh, hard drive. So uh, if you click restart, it will restart to whichever one is selected as your startup disk. Now, you can enter uh, target disk mode by, uh, this is the way I enter into bootcamp to enter Windows 10 when I'm using it for trading or anything else that requires Windows software over Mac. Um, you're gonna, when you restart, you're gonna hold down that command key and uh, and that is gonna open up and you'll actually have the choice to choose after that Apple bar loads, it'll choose which do you want to load, which one do you want to boot. Now, when you click restart and you don't enter command or don't enter, I'm sorry, it's not command, it's option. When you don't enter option, then it's going to uh, just automatically boot to the one you chose that you want to boot to. And since mine is selected as the external disk, um, the S external SSD, that is the one that I'm gonna go to uh, every time, at least for now. Um, so that is it. If you have any questions, um, I'm going to try this out for the next couple days. I do have my extended screen going over here. Uh, I'm going to try this out the next couple days and see how this works. Uh, hopefully it solves my problem and I can save a whole bunch of money by spending 150 bucks and use the power of my iMac to trade and not have to worry about, um, you know, getting a separate indistinguishable machine or a Windows based machine. Uh, thank you so, so much for watching.